Hello, my name is Anna Bove and I'm a Senior Program Manager for Azure Stream Analytics. In this video, I'd like to show you ASA's no-code editor capability, which enables you to create an end-to-end -end stream analytics job in minutes without writing a single line of code. If you are not familiar with Azure Stream Analytics, or ASA for short, we are a fully managed stream processing engine. Stream processing is the processing of data in motion, or in other words, performing operations on data directly as it is being produced or received. Whether your real-time data processing scenarios are simple or highly complex, ASA's vision is to democratize stream processing for all. The no-code editor experience has built-in templates, and with a click of a button, you can create some of the most common stream processing scenarios in minutes. Additionally, you have the option of using a blank canvas and configuring your data source and data destination through a drag and drop experience. Currently, the tool is available directly from your event hub as well as in the ASA portal. In this example, I want to read streaming data from my event hub, transform it, and write it into my storage account in Delta Lake format. The no-code editor capability allows me to do that directly from my event hub instance. I select the built-in template, give my job a name, and click Create. This takes me to the main landing page of the tool where I see a visualization of my streaming pipeline. In this case, my input, which is an event hub, and my output, which is a storage account. As you see, my event hub information is pre-populated by default. I simply select Connect. Within seconds, I see a preview of my incoming data under Preview Data. Preview allows me to see the shape of my data. I can pause my streaming preview here if I wish. Next, I configure my destination where I want the transformed data to go to. In this example, this is a storage account. I select the output tile and choose subscription, storage account name, and the container which I want to have my data written to. The Delta table path specifies the location and name of my table. In a few moments, we will validate the data as being written in this exact manner which I've specified here. Once I am done with the configuration, I click Connect. I now see that my destination, or in other words, output, has been successfully connected via the test connection success notification. In Stream Analytics, these test connections are one way for our users to detect and solve problems as they occur, versus coming to a failure point later on and backtracking to identify where the issue occurred. I can choose to add additional data sources and syncs, in other words, inputs and outputs, from the menu bar, similar to how we just configured these sources. I can also select operations and add powerful processing and transformation logic to my streaming data, such as filtering, joining, and aggregating. I can easily filter my data with a few clicks. For example, I only care about toll amounts that are larger than $10 in my streaming data. I click on toll amount, select is greater than, enter my value, and refresh my static preview. And here you will see that my data shows toll amounts greater than $10 only. Separately, I can use a built-in capability called Manage Fields. This allows me to add, remove, or transform fields coming in from my source data. I can also use built-in functions, for example, to add a new field and aggregate data from upstream. Or use group by transformation to calculate aggregations across all events with a certain time window. The no-code editor tool offers many powerful built-in capabilities, and we're continuously adding more. For the purposes of this demo, we'll start the job with the filtering logic. When ready, I'm going to click Save, and then I'm going to start my job. Here I choose the number of streaming units I want for this job, three, and click Start. Within a few minutes, my streaming job has started running successfully. Data is being read from my event hub, transformed, and is being written to my storage account in Delta Lake format. 
I can go directly to my stream analytics job on the ASA portal and I see that the status is starting. Again, we'll just wait a few minutes here for the job to start. But here I have access to all the capabilities as any other ASA job. And now we see that the job is in running status. So we should see the key metrics being populated here shortly. And in the meantime, let's go to the storage account and validate that the data is being written in the format in which I've specified when I configured the job. Under data storage, I go to my containers. We specified the event hub captures folder. And then here we should see a new folder pop up with the name that we had specified in the job creation process. Let's validate the name of that folder. So event hub capture and the data delta table path here was AB delta table demo slash no code. So we'll refresh again and there it is. And we can confirm that data is being written here in the format that I specified. So here we see that with just several clicks, I was able to develop an end-to-end -end streaming pipeline in a few minutes. The other built-in no-code templates have a similar experience to the one we just walked through. If you have any feedback or any questions for us, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Azure Stream Analytics team. Thank you so much for watching.